Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about percentiles for group data. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to accurately illustrate the percentiles of a group data, correctly solve the i-th percentile of a group data, and correctly interpret the i-th percentile of a group data. First, let us recall what percentile is. Percentiles are points that divide a ranked data into 100 equal parts. Each set of data has 99 percentiles denoted by P sub I, where I stands for 1, 2, 3, and so on, hanggang 99. So take note, it divides a ranked data into 100 equal parts, pero hanggang 99 percentile lang tayo. So hanggang P sub 99. Example, P sub 28 divides a set of data into the lower 28 percent and the upper 72 percent. So, meaning ng P sub 28, um, the value of P sub 28, it means that 28% 20, are lower than P sub 28 and 72% are higher or greater than P sub 28. So, paano ba mag-solve ng percentiles for group data? Pareho lang siya nung steps that we had uh, with quartiles and deciles. However, um, dun sa dito na formula, dito lang sila magkakaiba. Kasi ang denominator for quartiles is 4. For deciles naman is 10. For percentiles, it's 100. Okay? So, let's recall the steps in solving for um, quartiles and deciles and percentiles of group data. No? Um, Unang-una, you have to construct the less than cumulative frequency denoted by this one. So, this is read as less than cumulative frequency. So, you have to construct the less than cumulative frequency column of the group data. For the frequency distribution table, kung wala pang less than cumulative frequency, then you have to construct it. Okay? Kapag meron ng less than cumulative frequency column, then proceed to number 2, which is we determine the P sub I class. Okay? P sub I class by solving for I over 100 times N. Pareho lang ito ng quartiles ng, at saka ng deciles. Again, yung sabi ko nga, 100 for percentile, for quartile it's 4, for deciles it's 10. Okay? Where N is the total frequency. Then, identify the closest, the closest less than cumulative frequency that is greater than the value of I over 100 times N. The class of this less than cumulative frequency is the P sub I class. Okay, and then uh, once you have identified the P sub I class, you can use this formula to determine the value of the desired percentile. Again, Pareho lang siya ng formula ng quartile, ng decile. Pareho lang. Dito lang nagkakaiba. Okay? So, we still have uh, the lower class boundary plus I over 100 times N minus the less than cumulative frequency before divided by the frequency of that class, of your P sub I class, times the class width. Okay? The class width. Let's have an example. Based on the frequency distribution below, determine the P sub 70 class. Um, take note, we are looking for the P sub 70 class. Yung class pa lang ha, hindi yung P sub 70 mismo. Yung class pa lang. Okay. So, we have here the frequency distribution table where we have the class interval. We also have here the frequency and this is the total number of frequency where n equals 30. So, hindi binigay yung less than cumulative frequency. So, in this case, we need to construct the less than cumulative frequency column. And so, um, pwede namang magdadagdag tayo ng column. Okay, you can do this neatly in your notebook or um, paper. Ano. So, this is the less than cumulative frequency column. And so, ia-add lang natin mula dito sa lowest. So, we have 6 plus 4, that's 10, plus 3, that's 13, plus 10, that's 23, plus 7, that's 30. Take note, yung last na less than cumulative frequency 
is equal to the total number of frequency. Okay? Alright. So, since we now have the less than cumulative frequency, let's identify now the P sub 70 class. Okay? P sub 70 class would be, um, the formula for that would be I divided by 100 times N. Substituting our I, we are uh, desiring for P sub 70, so our I is 70. Okay? 70 divided by 100 times Yung N natin is 30. Okay, 30. And so, we have, uh, calculating this one, we have 70 times 30 divided by 100. And that is equal to 21. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> 21. Okay, 21. So, next step is we look for the closest less than cumulative frequency that is greater than 21. So, we have here the less than cumulative frequencies that are greater than 21 are 23 and 30. But the closest one is 23. Okay. So, therefore, we are going to have this class. Meaning, P sub 70 is somewhere between 16 to 20. Okay. So, this is P sub 70 class. Alright. Let's have another example. Determine the scores of the lower 46% of the data below. So again, we, we have this frequency distribution table. Hindi naman binigay sa atin yung less than cumulative frequency. Okay? It asks for the scores lower than 46%. So meaning, we are looking for P sub 46. Kasi, ibig sabihin ng P sub 46, 46% 40 of the scores are lower than this. And, of course, for 100 minus 46, that's 54. Okay, 54. Uh, tama ba? Yeah, 54% are greater than P sub 46. Okay? So, again, we are looking for this. P sub 46. And so, just like what we did sa example number 1, we are going to construct the less than cumulative frequency. Okay. Actually, yung less than cumulative frequency, big sabihin yan, 100 minus 15, ganyan. But it's easier, for, in my case, it's easier for me to just add up all the frequencies from the bottom. Okay. So, we start at 14 plus 9, that's 23. 23 plus 20, that's 43. 43 plus 18 is 61. 61 plus 13 is 74. 74 plus 11, that's 85. 85 plus 15, that's 100. Okay. So, again, pareho sila. 100, 100. Alright. So, our lesson community frequency is correct. And so, we look for the class, the P sub 46. Again, we are looking for P sub 46. Alright? So, let's look for the P sub 46 class by using the formula I over 100 times N. Substituting our I is 46. So, 46 divided by 100 times yung N natin is 100. So, cancel out lang yan. This is equal to 46. Meaning... We are going to look for the closest less than cumulative frequency that is greater than 46. So we have, hindi sa 43, so we have 61. Okay? So therefore, P sub 46 is somewhere between 29 to 31. So we are going to use this class. So this is our P sub 46 class. Alright? So, after determining the class, we are going to, uh, to determine the P sub 46 itself by using the formula. Um, P sub I equals lower class boundary plus yung I over 100 times N minus the less than cumulative frequency before divided by the frequency of the class and we multiply this by the class width. Okay. Now, uh, we have this class. So, the lower class boundary is between 29 and 28. Ano? So, that's 28.5 plus 
Point yan ha. Point. And then we, we have already solved this. That's 46. So, 46 minus yung less than cumulative frequency before. Okay? Before this is 43. So, minus 43. Divided by yung frequency nito. That's 18. Alright? Times yung class width is just 31 minus 29. Okay? 31 minus 29 is 2. Pero kasali si 29. So, plus 1. So, the class width is 3. Okay? So, times 3. And then, you may use your calculator to solve for that. So, we have 46 minus 43 divided by 18 times 3 um, plus 28.5. 28.5. And so, the answer is 29. Okay? 29. So, meaning, this is P sub 46. So, meaning, P sub 46 is equal to 29. Therefore, therefore, 46% of the scores are lower than 29. Okay? Or we can say that, therefore, the lower 46% of the data are those scores that are below 29.